So there's our moon. I ask, oh, shagara bushukuru wa hakia ta komaraka ye hiya. Huara kuhara ka hiya. Huara kuhia 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 ka ye. Hiya kuhia hara kuhia hiya wana hi kuhia hiya. O tai e kui a I a I a Not expect that. <laughs> I was very obedient. <laughs> and he said to take a video, so here we are. Here, here, go on, pack a in a coat and a car. Oh, shaker of a shaker. So I've gone full circle and I've looked up the pink moon. Fear no man has linked a video of Chad's. <laughs> He's a Tom Hanks, right? <laughs> and there's two witnesses in it for me. One is um, Philadelphia Carpet. And I was just thinking on my communist invasion dream. And in his dream, he went and he was on an aeroplane and on his own. Well, I was on my own in a bus. I had to go up the back. I left the false church. They detested me they looked at me with disdain and it was supposed to be my family it was supposed to be I'm the bride and they were the family but they just detested me <laughs> and I went up the back to the bus and a little girl came and same with Chad's dream. And the Lord was just reminding me it was a little girl. And he said what it symbolized. So I'm going to link his. I'll just link Fear No Man because he talked about the pink moon. And he linked also a 144 prophecy. 
by a lady called Catherine. So I was looking at the moon and above it was a, like a star just appeared and sparked. And I I had already um, said for a sign and he reminded me of that adulterous generation looking for a sign. There would be no sign other than the sign of Noah. Or Jonah, was it? But God bless me with the sign. I was greedy and asked to see it again, but... <laughs> Instead, I had a belly anointing, and you heard my tongue. Now, there's my entrance. See how there's, this is another thing. See how there's two lights? Well, this one here on the right, there's my finger, that one there on the right, does not work, and it's not worked for over a month, six weeks, two months maybe. And it's working tonight. And I counted this, some of the lights aren't going, but there's four on one side and one at a distance. It's five. And 52 means willful ignorance. And a lady called Mel just arrived and picked up Pirate. And she called Pirate Daisy. Because fire had two black and white pups on the 20th of February, which was the day of the gathering, Jonathan Cleek's gathering. She was due on Valentine's Day, which is one of the dates the Lord gave me a heads up about before Christmas. And the other one's the 17th, which is tomorrow. Add one, take one. So the three days of this moon, it's not pink. Apparently it's not pink. It can be seen as red. I noticed it last night, but it wasn't quite full, but it's full now. So as you know, I'm in New Zealand. I'm on the west coast, on the Ring of Fire. I feel um, it's a gold mining area, the history, and I feel connected very much to California. Look what's happening in Peru, California. It's Peru, California, the gold the God shape, the sign, which was the boom, which takes me to Barker, who the Lord said was Antichrist. Well, he left last Sunday to a home with a man called Neville Faith. Neville Faith. Look up Neville. It's not a bad name. And Barker has a bung eye, and everyone's seen it. And I knew she, I knew he had an eye that looked like yellow, because I've always wanted the white around the eye. But he only has one. <laughs> and uh, nobody had the heart to tell me that Barker had a bung eye, <laughs> like a lazy eye. Now, my brother, the schizophrenic, he died on the 6th of January. He um, accelerated down the hallway of his community house. He's been institutionalised since he was 20 with schizophrenia. He normally handles very, he's very calm and he goes to his room when he's uh, upset or anything's happened with medication. But no, not this day. This day he banged his way in, yelled running up the hallway and accelerated into a door fell backwards dead. Now how my testimony is, is that the Lord quickened to me that he died the way he went into the system. He went into the system with the devil's foot on the, his accelerator, he said. He didn't want to die. He did a 180 like my caravan. A 180 like my caravan. See the number on my caravan? And my brother Jeffrey had a bung eye. We discussed it. He was um, with the Lord. The Lord showed me he was with the Lord. So was my mother. Anyway, I can hear fire crying, so I'll be going in. But he had a bung eye with a patch, and he destroyed all the patches. But I remember them, because they bought it up at the, at the grave. Now, you know how there was two pups born to fire? Fire! Come here. Well, one of the pups 
the Lord told me as soon as the first one born, as soon as it was born, to call it Angel. And I, I learnt um, two years ago, the first time I ever looked up a number in Strong's, was when Midnight was born, Midnight Cry. He was born after midnight on New Year's Day. And his time stamp was 3.49, I think, by memory. And it's basically the cry, not just of the demons that go out of Legion and into the pigs, but of the angels in Revelation. Yeah, they cry out. That's the sound. Midnight cry. Now, angel means... Now, I've got to remember the number of a timestamp, but basically it's the book of Acts. It takes a while. It's the book of Acts. And it means the depth of the sea and it's about Paul or is it John the Revelator Pat Patmos in, in the island of Patmos before he got there and he was glorying he said he glory glory not I don't know whether it was in that USA, but glory in your tribulation, you know, the persecution, the hunt, and how often he had been shipwrecked. That's what he can glory in. You're allowed to glory in that. So we've suffered. And Chad said he has been frustrated by the world, and he ends up in a plane. And he says, Jesus, and he's off to heaven. The Lord Jesus agreed with him that he'd been frustrated long enough. Well, I'm in a bus, and there's a little girl, and just like the little girl that Chad, so that's an interesting um, dream. And look, the light went out. Willful ignorance. That's why you're not on the plane. The plane, the plane. Paradise, right? Paradise Island. Or was it Fantasy Island? Yeah, it's a fantasy, isn't it? You're in a fantasy world if you think you're going into Jesus' hands. When you've not suffered for the cross, when you've not followed the Lord, when you've not served, the Lord with all your heart, mind, body and soul. So when this event happens, just know now that you better pull up your big boy pants and start following the Lord Jesus Christ because he saved you and you will burn in hell. So repent. Do not be like Brian. I said repent. He said, of what? Repent of what? And I said, that's what you repent of. Thinking you don't need to repent. Now the Lord rebuked me. If you look at Catherine's word, that's how come I get a witness. He said to me, how dare you question the way of the Lord? Because I was bagging myself in 2018 when I had the sense that I was being called and I was woken up in bed with the word, the time is now. I was bagging myself, like I'm not worthy. Well, he touched my lips with the fiery coals. I remembered that. I recalled everything the Lord had done. Lie in the spirit and wait on him. Go to the beautiful room, because events of the end of days are now.